Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a what sold video, finally, I know. And I already recorded this once in technology. My uh, audio did not work. So we're gonna try to get through this a little bit faster than before. And I see my computer's dying. Let's take care of that. So I did a poll and asked you guys if you would rather see all of my sales, uh, top sales or like individualized platform sales. It was a close vote between all of my sales and just top sales. So I went ahead and just did top sales from the month of September, included all of my platforms. I keep it all in one spreadsheet anyway. So my goal for December, I'm not even going to say November because I, I, my goal is to list my death pile in the month of November, but my goal for December is to do a weekly what sold. Let's see if I can get there. But in the meantime, we're going to do a screen share. I'm going to show you guys what I sold, starting with my $25 all the way to my best sales. And did I say that? I took for my top sales, just any sales, $25 and over. I will say at this moment, I am more of a volume seller. A lot of my sales come between that $15 and $25 range. So this was by no means all of my sales from September. September actually was a wonderful month in my little reselling world. Uh, but moving forward, as I source things on my own outside of mystery boxes, I am trying to find those items that are selling for the $25 and higher because as we all know, shipping costs are increasing. Kitizen just let us know they're doing yet another increase. Oh man. All right, here we go. We are going to kick it off on Poshmark and these, I'm going to tell you where I got the item and how much I paid for it, just because I think that's helpful info. I love watching what sold videos. I love learning new places to source. So maybe you will learn a new brand or a place to source items for yourself. I do sell men's, women's and children's, but I love selling children's items the most because they're easier to list, easier to ship, and oftentimes sell for the same as the adult thing. So these Nikes came in a thread up kids shoe box. I had $3 and 62 cents into them and they sold for $25. This J crew scarf. I did pick this out from the thread up outlet. So I had $4 and 88 cents into it. It took a while to sell. I struggle with taking photos of scarves. I have like a half mannequin, but she's naked and clear and weird. And so this is just how I ended up taking the photo. Thankfully, it did still sell for $28. Uh, I found this on the outlet. Just side note, if you're shopping the outlet, I shop by new with tags and then by the fabric content. And I picked this up because it had wool in it. All right, these Skechers Clio Emerald Ballet Flats. I picked these up because Skechers just always sells. I watch a lot of other YouTubers here who tend to sell Skechers often. These specifically I loved because they're kind of a dupe for Rothy's. I knew they would sell and they sold quickly. They were a great size, a women's size 10. I did have $7.41 into them and they sold for $25. These dance goes, I have had for a while. I cannot move dance goes quickly. And I don't feel like I price them any higher than anyone else. They just kind of sit for me. So take that for what you will. I picked these up back in April at a kid's consignment sale. If you ever see those come through your area, Ray Alana, this one was boutique for a week. Uh, what's the other one? Just between friends. There's tons of them. They come here twice a year. So th this one does allow juniors and women's shoes. These had $7.13 into finally, finally sold for $26. These Brooks I was selling for a friend. So I had nothing into them. They sold for $27. They were in new condition. They were men's size 11. It's just that this particular style, I checked comps across all of the platforms just to make sure. And this style really in that $20 to $30 range is all you're going to get. So I don't know why, but I was happy to accept the offer. This brand, you guys have told me how to pronounce it like three times. I just call it Agner. Uh, Always, I always say it reminds me of my mom because when I was a kid, she always carried Agna purses. And I've got this brand of shoes a few times now in thread up mystery boxes, same as these. I had $3.99 into them. It, they take a while sometimes, but in my experience, they've always sold. So they sold for $27. We're going to bounce over to Mercari. 
I sold these Mark Fisher black pumps very quickly. These also came in a thread up shoe box. These I had $5.33 into and they sold for $27 plus shipping. I do not offer free shipping on any of my platforms. And I also have mentioned this before, but you'll see it was $9.42. That's because I use the UPS shipping option. I do not use the FedEx. As a buyer or a seller, I've had horrible experiences. It just takes forever. And I don't live close to a drop-off. You are not supposed to drop those items off at the post office. So anyway, let's go back to Poshmark. These are mini Melissa. If you watch my channel often, you know that this is my most favorite brand ever. These were my daughter's shoes. I picked them up originally at a Once Upon a Child. They were really heavy. They weren't the typical kind that have the Velcro closure. This was like a, you can see actual buckles where you stick the little thing through. She complained that they were too heavy. I thought they were really heavy, but they still sold for $29. So many Melissa's, they're not selling for what they used to. I have been buying them. Well, these are a size 11 and my daughter started wearing them in a size six. So it's been a few years and you used to be able to get closer to that 40 to $50 mark. Now you can still sell them for 20 to 30, just depending on the character. This is, I have mentioned this website before, swap.com, S-W-A-P. That is a great website, in my opinion, for personal use. I buy a lot of my kids' school clothes from there. They have a lot of new with tags. I feel like they have, I've never read this officially, but like relationships with things like QVC, maybe just some particular brands. Like they always have tons of Bionics, new with the tags for great prices. I paid $9.59 for these. And I do have a discount code. It's not an affiliate code, but when you make a purchase there, you get your own code. And so if you use my code, it's linked down below. You get 40% off of your purchase. And then if you use it, I get another 40% off coupon. And then you get your own code and you can give it to your mom, sister, friend, and then you can make it. So I've never made a purchase without having a 40% off coupon. So just side note, I will say my last order with them was a disaster in the sense that they had a huge sale and it took a while to get my items longer than usual. And they canceled a bunch because they, they use a drop shipping or something. I don't know. But prior to my one order I did recently, I've never had an issue. They have had great customer service. So check it out. Uh, these sold for $29. Bionics usually will sell for more, especially if they're new. However, these were tiny. They were a women's size five, but they retailed for 120. And since I only had less than 10 bucks, I was happy with a $30 sale. Back over to Mercari. This was a Johnny B gray blazer suit jacket. I picked this up originally for my son. He wore it several times. Johnny B is like a diffusion somehow of mini Bowden and sold it on Mercari for $29. Back to Poshmark. This Calvin Klein's kids puffer jacket came in a thread up rescue box. I had $1.92 into it and sold for $29. That was a little kid size seven. These native shoes also came from Swap. They were brand new in the box, $10.19 into them. They sold for $30. Now look, you guys had an eBay sale. If you follow my channel, you know I don't sell on eBay. You'll see I have 458 feedback because I sold on eBay in college way back in the early 2000s, like 2002, 2003, and had an account. They never shut it down because I still bought stuff now and then. Anyway, back in January of this year, I decided to cross list over there. I listed about 25 items. It's just not my jam. It does not bring me joy to sell on eBay, but I left the items up. I don't do anything over there. And someone sent me an offer of $20 on these shoes that I have had literally for like three years. One of my oldest listings. I was really happy to take it. And uh, yeah, so I made 12 bucks after like three years. <laughs> I, uh, and I tell you, I had $5 into these. All right, back to Poshmark. These Athleta jeans, I should have left them behind because they have been sitting in my closet since March because they're gray. They were a great size, but they were gray. I did pay $5.43. They finally sold for $31, which is a great sale. It just took a long time. Another swap, when I, I got a whole bunch of stuff from swap.com and since I'm picking out the inventory, it typically sells pretty quickly uh, because I, I found after lots of practice, you learn which brands and which things are going to sell. So a lot of things I have that sit around are things that I've gotten in rescue boxes, but that's okay. So I did pay $4.80 for these. The brand is Appaman. You've heard me talk about that. I, I don't know if they just sell kids clothes. Their logo is this little monkey. 
he's really cute but it's expensive these were pink boys size 10 linen pants they sold very quickly for 32 dollars plus they paid the eight dollar poshmark shipping over to Kitizen. Oh, I used to love Kitizen, but these days it's just kind of a mess. But I do list to Kitizen first. I do have List Perfectly. This is a shameless plug, but I wanted to mention List Perfectly because I do have a discount code down below. Guys, give it a try. If you don't have a cross posting thing, you don't think you make enough money for it, use my link, download List Perfectly. I think you get two weeks for free. And if you have a small closet, you can cross list everything fast and just see what happens. But these sold, um, like I said, on Kitizen. Hey, Bella. Oh, I should show you guys. I'm re-recording that video that didn't work. Come here, Bella. Side note, you guys know I always share my dog. Look at this cute pupper. Her YouTube debut. This is Bella. She's a Yorkie. Isn't she so cute? She's so cute. Oh, my mom's home too. So, yeah, mom, I had a YouTube disaster, recorded a whole video, and I can't edit these time, and the sound wasn't working, and so that was my day. But I'm halfway done. I'll come see you in a minute. My mom lives next door. Y'all know. We love my mom. She, Y'all love when she's in videos. I'll have to have her do one with me soon. Okay, so these, mom, you remember that horrible Joe Mar kids box I got where I literally could have just thrown it all in the trash? It was so bad, you guys. You remember the, the thumbnail I was like holding money in fire. Joe Mar is no longer in business, but I did have a whole $2.10 per piece. It was just bad. These finally sold on Kitizen for $33.55. That was a full price sale. Love to see it. Helly Hansen, if you live up north, I'm sure you know of this brand. It's a great ski brand. I picked this up. Oh, there goes the dog. Can't leave them behind. They're going outside. So I had $7.51 into this jacket, which is kind of kind of a high cost of goods. But at Once Upon a Child, I often pick things up when I have a coupon uh, or do a trade-in and I'd rather just trade items. This sold for $34.50. Back over to Mercari, American Girl Books, especially the book collections. This was like all of the books, but in one big book. I've sold them where they're individual. They always sell pretty quickly because they're expensive. Uh, these, I had $4.17 into this, sold for $35. I did offer free shipping. I just said I don't ever offer free shipping. The reason why is because I ship books media mail and none of the platforms, maybe eBay, I don't know, uh, has that option. So I had to just, I use pirate ship in that case. All right, back to Poshmark. Another pair of dance goes. It was like, I don't know what happened, but dance goes finally decided to move. Now these were sweater whatever. So when I picked them up way back in May, I knew I would sit on them until the fall time. $7.99 into them from a local Goodwill. They sold for $36. This is the same Goodwill that used to price shoes like six to $10, not a uh, 30, 40, 50. This was the good old days way back in May. All right. This Lily Pulitzer khaki pants. These were mine. You guys, I try not to use a ton of stock photos. I know it's controversial. However, look at this cute little stock photo and then look at mine. They, <laughs> they were sad. These I did pick up at Marshall's. Yes, Lily Pulitzer can be found at Marshall's a couple times a year when they sell their overstock to them. So I only had 20 bucks into them. I wore them one time. They just weren't my thing. Sold them for 40, so still made profit. These are a case of, this is why I love being a reseller. I bought these shoes for my daughter for our family photos last fall on Poshmark for $39.89. I finally got around to relisting them and sold them for $40. So I lost $7.89, but I look at it like I rented a pair of shoes for her to wear for some really cute pictures for less than eight bucks. So I don't call that a loss. These Keen snow boots. I don't know why I bought these a year ago from Once Upon a Child and I paid $16 for them. I don't know what I was thinking that day, <laughs> but thankfully they sold for 40 bucks and I still made a $14 and 28 cent profit. Keen snow boots definitely will always sell. These were little, they were size eight toddler, which is probably why they took so long. Lily Pulitzer, y'all know that's my girl. Um, I did make this little collage of pictures. I was pretty impressed with myself because I just didn't like how any of them looked individually. These were a free gift with purchase. So because I spent $580, I got a pair of free earrings. Anyway, gift with purchases will sell, especially because I think you only had to spend 100 for these. 
but they were just not my thing. They were these huge little fish. Here was my actual photo. It wasn't a bad photo. I, I just, I didn't want to take off all of the plastic and stuff. Uh, they sold for $42 plus shipping. So I made $36 and 28 cents back towards my insanely expensive purchase. But Lily is my weakness. All right, these Sorrel Whitney boots came in a thread up kid shoebox. That was a great thing to find in there. They were in great condition. $3.62 into them. They sold on Kitizen for $42. So you'll see I had them listed at $39 plus shipping, and I sent them an offer of $42 total. Back to Poshmark, these Kamek black and purple toddler boots. I picked these up from swap.com and that huge order I did for $15 and 60 cents and they sold for 40. So I doubled my money, which for retail arbitrage, I feel like that should be your goal. Anything better than that's just a bonus. All right. I did have a bundle sale over on, uh, where are we? Poshmark. This Furla purse came in a thread up name brand handbag box, but I've had it listed for a little while. This Lululemon bra, I had $8 into it from a local Goodwill. So I was all in about $30, but I sold, I sent an offer of $85 to this buyer. So essentially making it look like they got the bra for free, but I still walked away with $39 in profit. So I call that a win. This Christopher John Rogers dress came from Bulk, B-U-L-Q. Now y'all know I have beef with Bulk after my palette situation. I still made profit. I, bu I bought a lot of items from them. They even sent me a t-shirt, but I had a bad customer service experience. And I believe in good customer service, like one negative experience. And I haven't bought from them since January and I was buying from them often. So just side note, have good customer service. Um, this took a while to sell. It was a Target collab. It was really cool looking. Here was a stock photo. Uh, so $1.34 into it, sold for $43. Michael Kors, this bag also came in a thread up name brand handbag box. You guys, quick story time. I like to hear random stories. And just so you guys know, you're not alone with the crazy buyers out there. So you can't make stuff like this up. You will notice my title says Michael Kors Hamilton. Read, 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 you know, little asterisk. My description, please note it's missing the lock. You will need to use your own. Otherwise it wasn't like brand new condition. Look at my photos, you guys. There's no lock. Let's see. Here's a close-up of no lock. Now, the purse didn't need the lock per se. It was kind of more for looking. Anyway, let's keep going. My very last photo, meaning when you're looking on your phone, which most people shop on their app, I'm assuming this is what you would see when you're reading the description. You guys, I took a stock photo. I circled the lock. I typed in what it's missing. Okay, all that to say, my buyer received the item. Also note, $45 is very cheap for this bag. This used bag with the lock is going for $90 to $100. Sent me a message. Do you have the lock for this purse? <laughs> I replied and said something like, per the description and the photos, I screenshot this photo and the description in circle where it said, please note, no, this is why the item was listed for such a low cost, you will have to use your own log. She never wrote back, and this has been since the middle of September. She's never rated me. I mean, I got my money, but this is the kind of situation where I feel like a year later, I'm gonna get like a one-star review <laughs> or something, but can't win them all, friends. All right, these UGG earmuffs came in a fun box, a recent fun box, $3.10. They sold for $45. They weren't the kind that had the... Uh, microphone or whatever. So those will go for more. These saltwater Sperry, saltwater? Why did I say that? Oh, it says Sperry. They're called the Sperry saltwater duck boot. Got them in a thread up shoebox, $3.99. Sold them for $47. This is one of those cases where I don't think my photo was bad. Here's my photo. People have asked me and complimented my photos. Thank you. I use a light box. I bought a huge light box for like $300 two years ago, best investment ever. And then when I'm taking measurements, I have a piece of wallpaper on a particle board on a banquet table. So you'll see that it kind of, I don't think there's not gonna be any in this picture. I'll show you in another, just anyway. And then I use the app called Pick Tap Go to just brighten up the very first photo. I do not edit any other photos. 
the story of this was to say, I really liked this talk photo when I went to get the info on the boots. I thought it was cute. All right, over to Kinnison again. We're down to my top three sales from the month of September. They weren't, this wasn't like an amazing $45. You might be like, that's not that great of a sale. I thought it was pretty great. I, because it's, they sold in like a day. These are Ariat boots, big kid size four. So that's the size my 11 year old wears for reference. I had $8 and 31 cents into them. They were in the best condition. So fun. They sold on Kittizen for $48. And back to Boshmark for the final two. Another fun box sale. This came in the same box or maybe my husband and I were battling as those Ugg earmuffs. So $3 and 10 cents into this pair of print fresh pajamas. There was my photo. Uh, here's the, the label. Put this in your memory bank. Print fresh. This particular one was sold through Anthropology. It had these dogs. Oh, here's my board to show you guys. Um, it's nothing special, but it works. And look at these dogs. This is so cute. These retailed for $168. They sold within 24 hours for $98, giving me a profit after it was all said and done of $75, which paid for both of the fun boxes I opened that day. And my best sale of September, y'all, this Chanel Beauty, B-E-A-U-T-E -E, little bag was a travel, here's the inside, traveling case for your makeup. It was like this big, okay? It was not a large thing. I have to give props to my friend. Yes, you're my friend, even though we've never met in real life. <laughs> Megan over at Megasist here on YouTube. She sold this. And like a couple days later, I happened to be in a thrift store, saw this exact thing, was like, no way this is real. It was, it had this little thing in here. I paid $11 for it. And it sold within the first two days of listing for my full asking price of $325. So put that in your memory bank. I've also sold an Yves Saint Laurent crossbody beauty. Maybe you're like me. I always thought that the beauty stuff was like the free gift with purchase you got for purchasing perfume or makeup. I don't know because I'm not into that stuff. I wear, you know, Disney Ariel shirts and mascara. That's like my life. Anyway, indeed, this retailed for almost $800 from the Chanel store. It was not a gift with purchase. They're hard to find. I was like dreaming big when I listed it for this. Most of the used ones are going for 200 to 250. New ones are going for around 400. This was in like new condition, sold for full asking. So don't be afraid to dream big guys. All right, so those are my top sales from the month of September. If you've made it this far, please give me a thumbs up and please type below what was your best sale for the month of September. If you happen to keep a spreadsheet and know, I would love to know because maybe it's a random brand like that Chanel thing that I'm going to see next time I go to the thrift and we can all learn together. So thank you guys so much. I will see you soon to recap a couple of my recent thread up boxes. I finally did all of the buy sell trades for that 200 pound. And I cannot wait for you guys to hear how that went because it was a terrible box, you know, with all of the target and stuff. We'll see. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.